Hello YouTube and thanks for joining me here at Ant3D today. Uh, just a quick look at what's been printed this week and it has been the featured print on Fingerverse which is a squashy turtle. So, as you can see, it's definitely a turtle and it's definitely flexible. Uh, this was designed by username Jake Jake on Fingerverse and it is the featured print. Um, but before we go any further, let's have a look at the time lapses. Go! I guess the time-lapse videos have come to an end. So, after printing these out at 100%, let's just take a quick look down and I'll just show you how to assemble them. It's quite simple, to be fair. It's not anything complicated. Um, so let's just jump down and have a quick look at that and then come back. So, here we are, just to have a quick look on how to assemble the squashy turtles. So, let's start from the beginning, shall we? Might help. So these, these are the parts that you're going to need. You obviously need the base, two H clips, the head, and whatever shell of your choosing. As you can see, I've got two different types of shells. Um, yeah, so all you do is you get your two H clips, stick one in there, one on the other side. But they are a bit tight sometimes, but once they're in, they're in. And then just stick the head, slide the head in, I find it's easier that way. And then take your shell, as you do, line it up. Line it up, there you go, as you can see, that's now all as one. And then all you do is push the tail, and it slides the head out. And obviously, this is why it's called the squishy turtle. So yeah, that's just a look on how to assemble it. It's quite straightforward, obviously. Um, here you go, here's another one. As you see, diff different shell. The nice thing about it is that it's totally customizable. You can um, print off different types of shells, whatever whatever ones you like really. Check him out, like I say, username is Jake Jake. I will leave a link in the description. So yeah, let's come back up top. Ah, welcome back. So you've just checked out how to assemble it. Awesome. Next thing you gotta do is print one at 200%, as you can see. It took, it took around about 10 hours to print. It was printed at a, at a layer height of 0.25. Um, it come out really nice, as you can see. Not really any issues with the printing. It printed really cleanly. So yeah, um, I'm sure it'll make a nice ornament somewhere or sit on a shelf, as it does with all you, you all of your prints that you make. Um, all I will say is be sure to check out Jake Jake on Fingerverse for this amazing design, which is really good. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Oh, and on your way out, make sure you hit the like. Awesome. Catch you later.